I know you gonna dig this. Get, get, fu- get funky with me. What's going on everybody? How are you doing today? So here I'm at Desert Memorial Park. Uh, but my third or fourth time out here. And I was told that Frank Sinatra, no, not just told, I, I know that Frank Sinatra has a new headstone. And Steve from Memory Lane Church, Steve told me, I think Scott Michaels was out here. He mentioned to me, we were, had lunch the other day, the three of us, and we were talking about, and so I thought, well, I gotta come back out. I love the uh, I love this cemetery. It's beautiful, and why not uh, see Frank Sinatra's new gravestone and uh, show you it? And I thought, and Steve was kind of giving me direction. And I was like, ah, oh, I'm good, I'm good. I've been out here a few times. Not so good. I'm looking for. I thought there'd be like um, nice display of flowers and stuff. Usually that's how I found his grave before. Oh, maybe. No, that's how I found it before. There was lots of stuff around him. But not this time. Well, not in this area, at least. And I think I'm in the right area. But I'm going to take a look around for Frank's uh, grave. The chairman of the board, Frank Sinatra, buried out here in Cathedral City. I don't... Uh, it's this lawn. I'm almost, I'm almost 100% positive. I'm on the right lawn, the right area. But I can't, uh, can't seem to find him. That's life. But I'll find Frank. I always like to come out and visit Frank when I'm in Palm Springs, I'm in the desert. It's a beautiful spot and it's a beautiful place. I'm just not sure where he is. It's never uh, as easy as I think, or as easy, even, even if I've been out here, it's not easy to remember. <sighs> I feel like I'm too far back. I think there's some with music on it, you know. But it should be somewhat more prominent than the last one. The last one was quite, um, was just a kind of a regular grave. But I'm sure it's around here somewhere. I'm sure of it. And his wife's buried beside him. And then his friend who died in the, I believe it was a car crash? He's not far from him. I don't recognize his name, I think. Wow, this is crazy that I can't find it at all. Wow. It looks like they changed the headstone. They did, I was, just, I was just mentioning that for... Yeah, when I saw the pictures I saw online were, and it said, what did it say? One of his lines to one of his songs. Yeah. Down the old did, one, which I thought see, was nice. Now this is the new ones. I was here a couple years ago and it's completely different. Wow. Yeah. That's, uh, it was hard to find. I have goosebumps. It's crazy, <laughs> eh? But there's his wife, Barbara. Yeah. His best friend's down here. Yeah, they said there's a lot of celebrities here. He said this. very strange when you think about uh, the fact that somebody with such a huge, huge presence 
and especially in this part of the world in Palm Springs, his hangout, his territory, this is his simple final resting place. But he's beside the woman he loved, Barbara. Beloved wife, mother, and grandmother. Yeah, it's very, uh, it's, it's very simple and very basic, as you can see. But it's very, um, very serene and very peaceful. I never knew that Dean Martin's son died. And that, like, after that, Dean Martin was never the same. Helicopter crash or plane crash? I don't, I don't know what it was, but... Oh, Bart, and then Sinatra's mom died in a plane crash going to one of his concerts. Right, Oh, yeah. that must have really... Yeah. That must have made him feel guilty. I wonder why they... Maybe someone stole the headstone. Oh, yeah. This was Frank's best friend, Jilly Rizzo. Uh, he was the best. He was from Chicago, right? I'm not sure. Know, I'm from Chicago, and there's a bar downtown called Jilly's. And they said Sinatra used to always go there, and he was his bodyguard, I think. It's something like that, yeah. Uh, That's crazy, huh? It's beautiful out here. I'm so, I drive by here all the time. When I watch the documentary, I'm like, he's buried in Palm and, and Yeah, you gotta stop. You gotta see it. That's cool. That's really I've cool. traveled. Each and every highway And more, much more than this I did it my way So you see, the headstone's definitely changed. It's a, it's a new one. Barbara just passed away yeah, four years from. ago. Yeah, there it is. There's the original. And that one looks... But oh, there's looks the original old. on this gentleman's phone. Yeah, that yeah that's the one I have a video of me on, yeah. Yeah, if you just Google it. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, that's was it. So what's that, beloved? The best is yet to come, right? Yeah. This looks more appropriate. Yeah, it does look <laughs> a little more appropriate. The cross. I was like, he's a Catholic. I mean, come on. Looks fancier. That looks super. Yeah, super basic. It almost looks like a sticker that's on. Yeah. There. Yeah. What kind of material is it? It's marble. And there's already a crack. There's already a crack too. Looks like there's a photo there. Oh. Doesn't it? It looks like there's an outline for a photo there that somebody has removed almost. Huh. That'd be awful if that's the case. I bet, I don't know, I bet you someone, because all you need is a shovel and just yeah. lift that out. Which would be awful, did well, you? you never resell it, because there's yeah. only one, and yeah. what are you going to do with exactly. it? Exactly. <laughs> Put it in your shrine at home? Yeah. <laughs> There we go. I know everyone's like, you're too young to like him. I'm like, I liked him since I was this big. Yeah, no, I know all the words to every song. He's timeless. <laughs> What's your name? Mike. Mike, you're a big Sinatra fan. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you video me. Yeah. Um, last night I went into Frank's place on 111. All right. It's in Indian Wells. Yeah, I was in Indian Wells two days ago. Yeah. And they, they were playing, I, I guess it's every Friday and Saturday night from 6 to 10. They all Frank? This, it's all Frank, and it's this guy that's an impersonator. Oh, my God, he almost looks just like him. It's, really? It's exactly like him in a big That's band. crazy. Yeah, it's really cool. So you live out near here? I do now. Well, I live in um, Bermuda Dunes. Okay. But I'm originally from Chicago, and I moved to L.A. 23 years ago. Right. And then actually spent a couple summers in New York and fell in love with New York, but it was just too damn expensive. Oh, yeah. It's, crazy. it's the too much. It's only place I'd put up with the cold weather. Like <laughs> I left Chicago because of the cold, but I'd put up with it with, in New York. New York's great. It's just too loud. Yeah. That's what I found. I don't mind the cold. I'm from Canada, so. Oh, yeah. I'm used to it. <laughs> but but you could drive by here all the time. First time coming, huh? Yeah. Oh, yeah. This is the first time actually popping in. Yeah. And then when I first saw it, I'm like, I was kind of disappointed that it wasn't the other headstone. I'm like, yeah. Hey, Basic. Yeah, it's weird. They just did it recently. I'm actually going to go back and ask that guy. Yeah. We were just done. <laughs> Where do we meet? Me and my friend Michael here. That's Frank Sinatra's grave. That's right. <laughs> you do meet lots of interesting people when you come out to graves. And uh, they're all doing the same thing. Paying their respects to a celebrity they loved. And Michael is a huge fan of Frank Sinatra. He's an incredibly talented artist. Um, yeah, so that's Frank Sinatra's new grave. And that was interesting. Uh, we just talked now for about 20 minutes. And really interesting guy. And... A uh, huge Frank fan. He told me some stuff to watch. All right. Peace out.